admin commentary on Bill Cosby. Here's a pudding pop. It, it actually sounded like your welcome sounded like Effie Trinket. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I didn't know where you were going <laughs> to with the that nerd at first. comment commentary. <laughs> That's exactly. And what maybe I'll be ever in your favor. Yes. Oh, oh, I'm McTurney. Oh, 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 I'm Steve there. That's getting offensive. I'm Trisha Hershberg. <laughs> Meg. <laughs> so before we jump into your comments, let's go ahead and review some of the sweet artwork we got this week. Yeah. Alright, so we did a table talk about board games and dad jokes and the source fed cookbook. And we had no question for you, but Ian in Chukowski, in Kowski, uh said, if somebody flips me off, I jerk off their middle finger. Things get uncomfortable real quick. You know what? Mark at FHP taught me this. You flip me off. Oh, come on. <laughs> You know? What if the other person starts going for it and they make That'd it That'd be even great. Then it's, I think then it's, it's great. It's a weird finger. Oh, yeah, thing. slower, slower. <laughs> <laughs> agoraphobic says, agoraphobiac. All right. Oh, that's pretty off. good. Agoraphobiac. Mm -hmm. Says, to be a fly on the wall in the writer's room, please install hidden cameras and show us snippets, please. I just want to know what kind of things can be wrong with the stripper. Nope. First of we all, we talked nope, about nope, the stripper. Nope, nope, no, we did. We, we are never going to see that. Once upon a time, there was talk of having a camera in the writer's room, and oh. all hell broke loose. Well, you can't. Oof. I mean, we, we would all get in pretty big trouble. Yep. Like, legitimately With, like, with big the police trouble. and maybe the FBI. Yeah, I can't have well, maybe, HR for yeah. sure. I mean, honestly, it would Yeah, be, with HR for sure. Z. I don't know if we would have fans after that. Zoe Hatterlock says, sexy meatloaf sex recipe. What is happening? Because remember Joe was talking about having sex with your meatloaf? All right. Okay, so to a bowl, add a finely diced introduction, along with two names, grated. Add three teaspoons of flirtation, beat a pickup line until smooth, mix with a good heaped tablespoon of alcohol, and stir in. Crush any expectations and add them along with the meat. This recipe works with whatever quantity you may have. Preheat the oven, knead the meatloaf mixture until firm. This can take varying lengths of time depending on the meat. Place in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes or until done. Serve with a side of light conversation, steamed contemplation, and a pinch of regret. I don't know about you guys, but I need to change my pants now after that. You and know you what? Like you, you could also change your shirt because you're for sure getting a shirt for that. <laughs> <laughs> change your shirt. Okay, this is Zorman shirt from uh, the drawing board on the FHP channel. And you can buy the shirt if you like it on 4 but you, Zoe, are uh, getting it for free, signed by us all, so make sure to check your YouTube user inbox, and we'll be hitting you up. But uh, just a reminder again, anyone who won a t-shirt, please be patient. FHP is busy working on all of our holiday sales, and they will get to you soon. Keep holding Yay! that up, Trisha. Yeah. Congratulations! <laughs> you won a t-shirt! <laughs> it looks like nice. it's puppetry. That's puppetry. Nice. It's puppetry. It's puppetry. <laughs> Steve, you're such a good puppeteer. Well, I expect for that. you to like... I don't know. Okay, wait. Can I share something with you? What? Yeah. Ooh, I just had, this sounds good. I just had a vision of you, like, throwing your wiener around and what? Sarah, and then being like, it's puppetry. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like to have fun. How long have you guys been together? 12 we've years? We've been together for, videos? like, eight years or yeah. something. In yeah. the long time. Well, we've been married been for eight years, and we've known each other for, like, 12 or yeah. 13 years at this point. All right, so Meg covered this year's VGX Video Game Award winners. VGX. Um, I know, I feel the same way. More like VG um, BS. VG okay, Next. Well, yeah, VG that's next. good, that's good. <laughs> um, and so Meg asked you guys, did you see anything that caught your eye? The Mikulet says, why did Naughty Dog deserve Studio of the Year? If I could take a shirt away from somebody, I'd take it away from you. <laughs> oh, uh, why do they deserve words. Studio of the Year? Are you kidding me? Last of Us. Santa Ball says, did you see the hidden Half-Life 3 announcement? <laughs> Half-Life 3 confirmed. Half-Life 3 confirmed in mm -hmm. every moment of life, basically. I like okay. to do that. I farted Half-Life 3 confirmed. Half -Life 3 confirmed. confirmed. <laughs> we all farted at the same time, and there's three of us. Half-Life Half -Life 3 confirmed. confirmed. Realm Fig says, am I wrong in thinking that Nintendo really screwed up with the VGXs? They need one upcoming game that people really want. I was expecting that from Nintendo, and it was the whole reason I watched this thing. I just think this is a wasted opportunity for that. Uh, you know what, I'm a Nintendo fan, but like I haven't been interested 
in a Nintendo console in so long. I bought a Wii because yep. I was excited. Me too. And then I didn't use it at all. It collected dust, and then I sold it. Well, I, was like, I have mine yeah. still. It's, I have mine to still. To be perfectly honest, it's knocked over on its side behind my PS3 in my entertainment center because uh, I was moving it, and I didn't move it correctly, and then mm. I just left it there. I did play it when it first came out, but... Um, yeah, so did I. Yeah, but it's just, like for me, I think they've gone so far into the casual market that they've alienated people who actually wanted a challenge because mm. old-school Nintendo games were actually challenging. Yeah, oh yeah. So, really yeah. hard. I don't even know if motion gaming is even going to be a thing in the next 10 years. Well, like, a lot of games that are coming out for Xbox One are just uh, completely ignoring the Kinect and yeah. say, well, it doesn't really fit with our game. Moving on, I did a top 10 family party games and yeah. counted down some good games that are good to... So, there, there. And counted out some games that are fun to play with your family, even if they're not the most video game savvy. Um, the number one was Mario Party, and Sir Schwabby <laughs> said, I don't agree with Mario Party. It ruins friendships and causes feuds, only if you're a little bitch about it. But it's Dude. so much fun. Uh, but have you played Munchkin? Now that's a friendship ruining yeah. game. <laughs> Way more than Mario Party is. Well, that's like, there's this comic, somebody tweeted it to mm. all of us, I don't know if you guys saw it, that was like, uh, video games that were board games that ruined friendships, and the number one was Monopoly. It was like, Monopoly had like sunglasses on, he was like, I ruined thousands of friendships. And I was like, replace that with Munchkin, and yeah. then it would be true. Like, when the three of us play, the first person to screw anybody else, the other two people make an alliance. Yeah, and it's yeah, done, fuck that person for being a big yeah. meanie. Catherine Ramirez <laughs> says, my family does WarioWare Inc. every Thanksgiving, Christmas, or New Year's. That's awesome. That's amazing. That is I awesome. love the WarioWare games. Why aren't there new WarioWare games? That's a great question. I would love to do another WarioWare because we actually had a Wario War. In yeah, the we had a scoreboard and everything. We had a scoreboard and everything, mm -hmm. and it got a little out of control, but um, I'd venture to say. I think we're all pretty competitive. Well, thank you guys so much for watching our nerd comment commentary. We got a bunch of fun shit coming up this weekend. Oh, yeah? Meg, what do we got going on? We have a new movie thing show. We saw The Hobbit. Oh, The Desolation of Smaug. Nah, nah, the Desolation nah. of Smaug. It's so wonderful. The Desolation of Smaug. Smaug. You can see it in 3D, 3D IMAX, HFR, Dolby Atmos. Go see it in everything. Yeah, go see it in all formats. Uh, by the end of this weekend, I'll have seen it three times in the theaters Okay, already. get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we'll also be watching Can't Hardly Wait on Movie Club mm -hmm. and have bloopers for you, and it's going to be a great weekend, so stay tuned for all that stuff. Yeah, Yay! we'll see you guys again next week for fun things and all the nerd stuff. So yes, I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm, I'm Meg Turney. I'm Trisha Hirschberg, and keep sending in that art because it's awesome. Send us art. Oh, also, we have a P.O. box. Which is in the description. You can send Down us fool, there. Uh, fool stuff. You can send fool us foolish stuff. stuff. Fool stuff. You can send us cool stuff. Oh, and if, after you watch these videos, you want to play some video games, you can go to gamefly.com slash sourcefit and get some games and cool stuff. Pew, 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 pew. I'm playing games with my friends.